Hello friends, welcome back to another video. Today we're finally continuing the um, well the series on Lagrangian mechanics and what better problem to do than find the geodesic equation. So in this case we're given a Lagrangian which uh, well <laughs> this would be something like the kinetic energy you see our g mu nu it's gonna be a tensor um it's our metric for this uh, coordinate system so imagine if if for example g mu nu was just delta mu nu right chronicle chronicle delta then we would have this l equals this q dot squared where i mean like it's it's the sum of the magnitude of the vector right so it'll be like q1 q2 in whatever dimension q is Right, the length of the vector. Well, this g mu nu, if we just leave it like this, like here, it's more general, so there might be diagonal terms, and it might depend on q. And in fact, this is what we use in special relativity, so, um, in general relativity. So yeah, be really nice. And this would just be the free particle uh, kinetic energy in whatever geometry we're living in. Like space time. Um, so yeah, I mean, we're not going to assume anything, but if you want to think about it, like think about this in four dimensions, so Q is like T, X, Y, Z, or something like this. But again, it's more general than that. Okay, so if we look at this Lagrangian, and we want to look at just the derivatives in time. So our, our dot, it's going to represent d by dt, okay? So we're going to look at derivatives in time. This is more of a classical case then. Or should we treat it as an affine parameter? Yeah, we'll treat this as an affine parameter. So we're going to be saying that this q mu, it's like a four vector or d vector, whatever. And there's some affine parameter s which we uh, differentiate with, so. Okay, cool. <clears throat> then I can find, for example, DL by DQ. Let's see, we have mu nu, okay, we can do sigma. DL by DQ sigma. So that would be Mm. So it's just the metric that has Q dependence. So we're going to have del G mu nu, del Q sigma, and we have Q dot mu, Q dot mu. Uh, and maybe I will just write that in shorthand like this. Del sigma G mu nu, Q dot mu, Q dot mu. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now, uh, let's take the derivative with respect to q dot sigma. Now, you see, it will be something like this. So I'll have g mu nu is skipped because it only depends on q. And I'll have del q dot mu by del q dot sigma q dot nu and plus the other term del q dot nu del q dot sigma. Now what you can see here is, of course, I mean, this quantity is just twice itself. Um, because if you exchange mu and nu, we assume, uh, maybe I should say this here, g mu nu is equal to g nu mu. So um, it's a symmetric metric. So yeah, of course, if it's symmetric, then I can switch this. And so that would be just to g mu nu, let's say maybe q dot mu del, uh, so uh, this just collapses nu into sigma, so it's zero if nu is in sigma, it's one if it is, so that would be like delta nu sigma, uh, or I could write that as two g mu nu uh, mu sigma g dot mu. Uh, Q, sorry, Q dot mu. So yeah, the indices match. 
awesome. Okay, and now we just need to differentiate this with respect to time. So I'll take d by dt. I'm all, of course doing all this to get the Euler-Lagrange equations. So, um, so now, uh, not time, the affine parameter s. So you know, so we have we have q is q of s. It's like that's how the the four curve is parameterized or whatever. You know, all these mathematical. Um, conventions. <laughs> okay, so d by ds of this guy, it's going to be like 2 times dg mu sigma ds q dot mu and dot represents derivative with respect to s um, and then plus 2 g mu sigma q double dot mu. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so d by ds on g mu sigma, it's just gonna be, uh, we take like the gradient, right? So it'll be del, let's say nu, del nu g mu sigma times q dot nu times q, yeah, this other guy. Uh, so why is that true? I mean, you take the gradient over all these guys, yeah pretty clear um, so then all that stuff is 2 and so I'll have del nu g mu sigma q dot mu q dot nu plus g mu sigma q double dot okay very cool and now of course you know how the other Lagrange equations work. So we take this guy minus this guy. Um, sorry, minus this guy. Uh, so I'm gonna get that all equal to zero. So I'll just divide the whole equation by two. So we have g mu sigma. That I'm writing this term. G mu sigma q dot mu q double dot mu plus. I'm gonna do one half. Okay, and now this bad boy over here, well, I'll just write two for now. Let's see how to make that, make appear what I want to appear. So q dot mu, q dot mu. Mm -hmm. um, okay, sigma is independent, and then minus the, the guy above, so minus del sigma g mu nu q dot mu q dot mu okay of course um you can see here that i can take out q dot mu q dot nu um let's go to the other page i guess i'm just going to copy this so i don't have to remember uh okay uh of course that's equal to zero yeah by our little orange um, okay, so now I'll take out q dot mu, q dot nu, so, and, yeah, I can also, well, this is a bit of an abusive notation, let me just leave it like this, mm -hmm. uh, q dot, q double dot mu, and then plus one half, so, let's see have 2 del mu g mu sigma mm -hmm. minus del sigma g mu nu q dot mu q dot mu equals 0. Okay, so let's see, let's see, what can we do here? del nu g mu sigma and then we want to get del mu yeah of course so these guys of course have dummy, dummy indices so nothing stops me from changing one of them um, so I can 
you know, I'll, I can write this as del nu g mu sigma plus del mu g nu sigma because here it's symmetric, so I might as well. Okay, and this is how we're gonna get the Christoffel symbol. So we're gonna have g mu sigma q double dot mu plus one half del mu g nu sigma plus del nu g and here I just use uh, the fact that it's symmetric. Uh, there we go. Now that looks a lot like the Christoffel symbol. Like this. Okay. And now all I want I'm going to use a different uh, index here. I'm going to say this is row. And this is row. It's just being summed over now, so it's still all okay. And now, um, so sigma is an independent index, so I'm gonna multiply by g uh, tau sigma. Say it like that, g tau sigma. <laughs> okay. Uh, and that is gonna give me a Christoffel symbol with the second term. Um, so this is how it's defined. The Christoffel symbol plays a part in the geodesic equation. You can calculate it many ways. This is one by varying the integral or you know solving the Euler Lagrange equations for a particular system. So g tau sigma, it's just going to be then gamma mu nu to q dot mu q dot mu the sigma is summed over okay very good uh, and then the first term is so i have g tau sigma sorry g tau sigma g rho sigma q double dot rho okay so mm, I'm going to change this row back to mu. Don't know why I did that. Sorry. Um, I don't, I just don't like row. <laughs> so of course, uh, this bad boy, uh, turns into Delta mu to. And so then this will just turn into Q double dot to, and we're left with Q double dot to plus one half g nu nu to q dot mu q dot mu equals zero i.e. the geodesic equation very nice <clears throat> okay i mean this is a hugely important result and it's very cool that you can get it just by doing the other Lagrange equations for this free kinetic energy Lagrangian. Uh, maybe as just an example, we can have a look at what happens in the case of, say, R3. So say we're in R3. And g mu nu is just one 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 right so all its derivatives are zero meaning g mu nu to is zero <coughs> okay and in this case we would get q double dot this time uh, we can use the dots to mean time because we're in r3 um sure uh, so this is a classical example. Q double dot mu or to is zero. <coughs> and this yields Q of T uh, is Q of zero T plus Q, Q prime of zero or Q dot of zero, whatever, plus Q prime of, uh, plus Q of zero. You know, just straight lines. Or, you know, I can say CT plus whatever so yeah straight lines 
just as you would expect geodesics in R3 are straight lines, i.e. if something needs to travel through flat space, it travels in straight lines, or the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. Yeah, here we go. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.